Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery that comes in the Nintendo GameCube from the one that comes soldered from factory to a battery holder where you can replace the battery anytime you want. This will require a little bit of soldering, but it is as easy as you can go. Uh, for other videos uh, regarding how to remove this from the Nintendo GameCube, please check my channel. So let's get to it! So the first thing we are going to do is to remove the board from the front panel of the GameCube. Uh, there are two screws, uh, Phillips screws, very easy to remove. And we are doing this to be able to access the battery, which is on the other side of the panel. There you go. So uh, next, I'm going to test the battery uh, to make sure that it is actually indeed dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's dead because when I started the GameCube, um, it didn't hold the date. Um, but it's always good to start it. We put the multimeter in volts and put the positive lead on the positive side and the negative one on the negative side. And indeed, it's 0 0.6 volts which is not enough. It should be around three volts. Obviously this battery has been in here for uh, a long time. So. so now we are going to try to remove the battery and in order to do that, I'll put some solder uh, flux on both sides so I can mix fresh solder with uh, the solder that is on the board. This flux is going to let me uh, be able to remove the solder easier. And for this, I'm going to use a soldering iron, uh, temperature around 380 degrees, cleaning the tip of the iron there. And mixing some solder now using the flux Turning the fan on. Then I'll put some flux, some solder, fresh solder in both sides. And I'm going to use some copper braid uh, with the flux and a soldering iron to actually remove the solder. You can see how it gets sucked in the soldering braid, and I'll do this uh, in both sides. It's important to hold the solder braid with uh, tweezers so that obviously you don't get burned. By now, the battery should basically drop off. As you can see, very easy to remove. And uh, we can see how the battery has the two pins attached to it. What we're going to do is replace it with this battery holder, so we can replace the battery whenever we want. Um, the pins are roughly at the same distance. Uh, it requires a bit of uh, wiggling around to make sure that they fit in place. Obviously, you need to make sure that the negative side and the positive side are in the right place. Since the battery is uh, ups uh, the, the top part of the battery goes on the top, that's the positive side, and following the pins, this is the right way of putting it. Once the pins are in place, just bend them slightly so they stay in place until we can solder it.
a bit more flux to make sure that the solder gets uh, into the pads and the pins as easy as possible. Make sure that uh, the holder is in place and just adding a bit of solder to the tip uh, to hold the pin in place uh, for uh, a small amount of time until I be able to put uh, the whole solder on it. So just uh, put the solder in. It needs to cover the whole gap. Obviously the pins are small for the gap. I'm putting it in both sides, making sure that makes a nice dome. Here is slightly difficult uh, because of the way the pin has been folded, uh, but eventually uh, kind of easy to do. I am using some lead free solder uh, and making sure that I have a fume structure so I'm not uh, inhaling all the fumes of the solder and the flux. Okay, nice dome, quite tidy. Obviously, now that we put it in place, let's make sure that it measures the right voltage. This is the battery that we are going to put inside the holder. And I'm all also going to clean it with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that it's nice and tidy. So put a bit of it in a cotton bat or Q-tip. Make it nice and tidy, otherwise it will be quite sticky. Okay, so that's clean enough. Let's put the battery in. Making sure it's uh, obviously well in place. Final test. The other way around. Yeah, that's good. 3.3 .3 volts, which is what we want. Okay, so everything that is left is putting back the board into the front panel. If you, if I can find how to do that. Just put the two screws and we should be done with it. And that's it.